I'm at uh, Lake Whitney camping and I'm just gonna make a quick video for people out there who either go camping or just starting to go camping because I personally like to have a fire and usually I like it all the time like the whole time I'm down there but I'm gonna be down here a couple days and I want to have a fire at least two or three you know at, at night so the campgrounds they don't like you bringing in outside wood and uh, they want you to shop local right that's what they say and the wood is very expensive at the store when I went and I uh, bought uh, hamburgers and stuff to, to grill tonight they were selling nice chunks of wood but they're not large or like medium or small and you get maybe eight chunks in a bundle and they wanted seven dollars and 98 cents and one of those bundles that's going to give you one small campfire and that's not going to last a long time so uh, it, it would cost you to have a, a campfire going all night it might cost you 50 bucks in, in wood and you, you also can go out which i love to do that and <clears throat> go out in the woods and collect your own but i mean there's if you've seen my previous video there was a a spider, then there's scorpions, snakes, and maybe if you got kids, especially you don't want them going out in the woods uh, picking up dead trees or whatever. So, this is a tip that I figured out, especially if you're coming on a Monday. And a lot of people they, they camp on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, if you drive around, like right now, I am the only person in this campground. There is nobody else camping in this campground the next few days. It's just me. So I drove around the truck. It only took me maybe 20 minutes. And I looked at all the campsites where people had left. And people left their wood because they don't always use it all. And let me show you what I got. Instead of paying $50 or going out and collecting. Look at there. That's what I collected in just 20 minutes. Probably could have got more. Those are some big chunks of wood. You're not going to even get wood that big in a lot of places. Uh, so that's just a, a quick tip. Here is a bundle right here. This is this right here. This is a bundle. See, it's got the blue on it. This is a bundle. There might have been maybe one piece of wood missing from that. That's what they're going to charge you at the store. They're going to charge you eight bucks for that, and that's just outrageous. So I just recommend. If you you know drive around and look at the campsites that people have left and see if they left any wood because that's what they leave it there for someone else to use it and that's what I'm gonna make my campfire out of and then this right here someone had collected a bunch of smalls and I just stuck them in the bucket so that's probably what I'll do I'll put like maybe two chunks and like this just one chunk and then I can just walk the edge of the, the forest or the lake or whatever and collect uh, smalls like that but that, that's just my tip uh, next time you go camping try it and leave a comment below and let me know if it worked out for you that you got a lot of wood like that too and didn't have to pay or go out into the into the forest and collect it thanks for watching and I'm in Lake Whitney camping bye everybody I was just going to add one more thing to that video after I uh, turned it off I thought about it make sure that uh, when you go around the campgrounds uh, collecting wood that's people left make sure the people aren't just like at the store or down swimming and you're like taking their wood so if you see uh, that uh, people are, are staying there camping there please don't take their wood I'm not I'm not recommending going out and uh, jacking pe people's wood so to say but yeah I just thought I better throw that in there because uh, you know just make sure that the people are gone and they've left that behind. <laughs> Thanks a lot.